Hello, guys, and welcome. Hello. Hello. How was your day, Dave? Hello, teacher. It was good, I man. It was good. How about you? How about yours? All good? Yes. Good. Good. Oh, very good. 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 All right. Very good. Nice to hear that, guys. Um, Elmer, how was your day, Elmer? Good evening. Hi. Busy. Yeah. Hi. It, was, it was busy? Yeah. All right. Why was it busy? What do you do? I have a meeting. I have a, 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 a make a report and send. Oh, you make reports? Us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. What What is it that you do for a living? I am a content. Oh, you're an accountant. I yeah. got you, man. I got you. Yeah, that's that's pretty busy, man. All right. So, where are you working? Where are you working from home? Yes, I work at home at, at this moment, but it's uh, the office is closed for a, 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 a person, uh, some person. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's closed for. Yeah. Some people, you mean? Yeah, some people. All right, got you, man. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, very good. Who else is here? Uh, Luis Cáceres. So, how about you? What do you do for a living, Luis Cáceres? Hey, David. Uh, just allow me one second. I'm trying to uh, fix something over here. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. What about you, uh, Daniel Aquino? What do you do for a living? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. I'm I'm ready to to receive the English class, and but I have to after the class I have to continue with some reports too, and I have to respond some emails too. Oh, okay, all right. But what yes. what do you do for a living? What do you do for a living means like, de qué trabajas? I yes. Uh, okay. I am a system engineering, engineering, and I am a su sales support to a B2B department in Tigo. Oh, okay, you're in the sales. Okay, you're in the sales uh -huh. department. But, uh, but it's like a technical support to, to salesmen. Oh, okay, got you, bro, got you, right. Well, thank you for being early. Hello, Karina. Nice Hello. to see you. you. How are you? I'm okay. You're How okay. are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, just uh, a little, a little sick, but a little sick, but uh, all good, all good so far, so good. You know. All right, very good, guys. Uh, what about Mr. Carlos Lainet? What do you do for a living, Carlos? Hello. How are you? All good, man. All good. Just waiting for everybody else to join in. So what okay. what do you do for a living? Uh, well, work work all day. Uh, but uh, doing what? Uh, I'm working in Tigo. So. Oh, you're working at Tigo. You mean? At Tigo, yes. You're right. Very good job. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. Hey, that's awesome, man. That's awesome, right? <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, guys. Do me a favor. Uh, pay close attention to the class and practice, guys, because you're going to be doing the exams on your own, okay? You're going to be doing it outside the class, and you're going to do it on your own, okay? So all exams, guys, are going to be like uh, like the final exam, guys, I'm sorry, is going to be on your own, and so and you will not do it in the class. Got it? Got it, got it, got it? So get ready because you're not going to have any help, okay? I'm going to help you later, but uh, I'm not, you're not going to have any help of to like, like uh, while you're doing the exam. You have, to do, you, know, uh, you have to do it on your own, okay? Just wanted to remind you that. All right, guys. But anyways, thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Remember, guys, if you can't join for some reason... Uh, so just send me, you know, send, send a message, you know, like, Hey teacher, I can't join today because of this. Right. And, uh, we'll see what we can do about that. Other than that, 
you're wel uh, welcome, guys. Welcome again, right? So, guys, uh, let's continue. Um, everybody go to the reading exercise 2.11. Okay, so everybody go to 2.11 in the platform. Okay. Rocio Cepeda, welcome. Fatima, nice to see you again. Enrique, nice to see you. Victoria, Jose, nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. All right, guys, so 2.11, guys. I need you to read. I need you to read, guys, so you're going to do two things, okay? Well, three things, okay? First off is read. Uh, you have to read. Secondly, you have to understand. Why, why are you going to understand, guys, understand the, the article? Because you are going to explain what the article was about. You're going to what, guys? Explained about the article. Wow. All right, you're gonna explain what the article was about. And fourth, all right, and uh, most importantly, you're gonna answer the questions uh, on the platform, okay? All right, so you're gonna, not the questions, the, the exercises, I'm sorry. All right, so you're gonna answer all of this pretty much, okay? All right, got it, guys? Got it, got it, got it. All right, so let's work in couples and let's practice. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's work. All right, how's it going? Can you hear me, Rocio? Yes, yes. All right. Uh, you know, I am you not want to read? <laughs> all right. I am not at home, so I am not working on the platform. Okay. Uh, are, are you in the platform? Would you like to share the screen? Yes, sure. Let all me right. see. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's go. All right. Is the exercise too? No. Can I read is... it together? Can we... Yes, we could. We could choose no. any the first paragraph. And not para, we... paragraph. Yes, I I can. Say... I will say paragraph. 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 Okay. <laughs> Yes. May I? Okay. I. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me see. I can see very well. Okay. What What if the person you marry forgot who you who you were? For For one Texas couple, marriage became a blind date when the groom came down with amnesia. amnesia. Days Am after the amnesia, wedding. Amnesia, amnesia, not amnesia. Amnesia. <laughs> amnesia. Okay, amnesia. All right, very good. good. Go ahead. Amnesia. <laughs> amnesia, there you go. Okay. Amy and, Amy and Sean McNulty's wedding, they started well, but ended with a shock. One of Sean's good friends was in a coma. One of Sean's good friends was in a coma because of serious car accident. Nevertheless, Amy and Sean decided to make their honeymoon trip according to plans. At the airport... Hello? Yeah, go ahead. At the airport, Sean realized he left his wallet in their car after they parked. He said to Amy, I'll... Psychiatrist, Dr. Dennis Brown says... Pronunciation, guys, psychiatrist, okay? Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist, okay. Psychiatrist, Dr. Dennis Brown says, Sean Amnesia may have... 
like his friend's car accident. According to Dr. Brown, since brain didn't connect with his identity anymore, he doesn't know who Shane McNaughty is and has no memories to help. It's a sort of like you forgot the name of a file you stored on your on your computer. You now you know it's there, but you can find it, said Brown. His memory is like that. Fortunately, the better time soon arrived. The day before their first anniversary, seen memories flooded black. All right, right. Once again, the first, first. first. Repeat the first, the first anniversary. The first anniversary, there you go. memories flooded back in an instant. He soon remembered everything. Uh, mm -hmm. what All right, how are we, we doing, guys? Did you finish? No. We are oh, just we didn't. beginning. <laughs> All right, no problem. All right, let's go. What if the person... Okay. Okay. The next one should be Sean showed cake in Amy's face when he remembered who she was. Uh, that one will be false for me. Yeah, false. Oh. Yeah, it's false. And the last one, it says... The amnesia yeah. might have been caused by too much stress. For me, it's true. Yeah, true. it's true. Yep. I believe that's it. One hundred percent. All right, guys. Did you yeah. finish the? Uh, did you understand the paragraph? Did you read it all? Yep. Yes. All right. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna check on you. Right. So you better understand the paragraph. Okay. Oh, no, I, come mm -hmm. I have a hunch. Yeah, you have a. Yeah. I have a hunch. Uh. They are very tired of of the work week. De la semana laboral. No sería. They are very tired. No Spanish, guys. No Spanish. You're advanced. <laughs> uh, how would you say uh, uh, la semana laboral? Uh, our classmates are mean, very tired. What do you mean semana laboral? What is that? You mean los, los, mean, días, los días laborales? See? Work days. Yes. Work days. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I have a hunch. Uh, the rest of the class didn't come, didn't enter to Zoom because they are very tired. Oh. Okay. Because it's almost week weekend. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back now. So thank you. All right, guys, welcome. All right, so let's uh, let's continue, guys. Let's see. So let's go back to the exercise. All right, guys. So remember, you're gonna tell me what the paragraph was about. So you better you better uh, understand understand uh, the paragraph, okay? All right, very good, guys. So let's answer it first. Okay, David, hit on. Tell me what is the answer for number one. What is the answer for number one? Number one is okay. Let me check. His amnesia began after he was in serious car accident. It's false. Oh, I remember. Okay, let's pronounce it. Okay, right. I needed to open your eyes and read it all. Okay. You told me he was in, and then you he told me serious. ¿Qué pasó serious. Con esto? What happened to this? A hey, hey, serious. All right, let's, okay, repeat, hey, guys. Serious. Sean's amnesia. Sean's amnesia. Repeat, guys. Sean's David, special amnesia. Amnesia. Sean's. Sean's amnesia. Sean's amnesia. Amnesia. Oh, amnesia. amnesia. No, no, not amnesia. 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 All right, let's amnesia. go, David. Yeah. Read, read it again, yeah. read it again. Sam's amnesia began Sam's in a serious car accident. Very good job. Is it true or false? False. False. Good job, right? Carlos Navas, let's go. Number two. 
don't show cake in Amy's face when he remember who she was. True. All right, very good job. Uh, Enrique Ramos, number three. The amnesia might have been caused by too much stress. Ah, uh, stress. 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 Are you sure? A stress. Are you sure? Stress. There stress. you go. Stress. stress. How do you say, stress. Enrique? Stress. Very good job, right? Stress, not a stress. Stress, right? Very good job, right? So is that that's true, right? Yeah. Is that true? Is that true? Okay. Very good. Let's see. All right, the only one, this one is false, guys. Number two, okay, it's false. Okay. All right, very good. So, uh, time for, for me to check. Everybody, let's practice on mute, guys. Everybody mute yourselves and let's practice, okay? You got 30 seconds to tell me what the story was about, okay? 30 seconds only, really, really quick, okay? All right. Um, all right, so let's start with, uh, let's start with... Uh, Rocio Zepeda. All right, Rocio, are you ready? Rocio? Yes. <laughs> All right, very good. 30 seconds. What is the paragraph about? Go. Uh, it's about uh, uh, a husband who, in the first day, he... He married her, her, her wife. She, he lost his mind. He lost his mind as amnesia uh, because he was um, ha, had a hard day because he received a, a notice. Good job. Uh, time's up. Time's up. Yes. Time's up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good job, guys. Applause, guys. Ooh, good job, right? You won. Te ganaste absolutamente nada. But <laughs> you're going to win knowledge right now, okay, Rocio? You're going to win knowledge right now. All right, so, guys, um, very good job. Now, things that uh, – good job, Rocio. You good job. I think that you have a nice fluency, but let's correct something, okay? You said a husband who in the first day. All right, guys, what's wrong here? Who can tell me what's wrong in this sentence, guys? Mm -hmm. all right it's the all right so it's the structure okay all right so over here so the story is about a husband you can say a man but let's go a husband who got married all right the first day he met all right and, and whoever he met okay got it rocio so the order of the structure is incorrect, okay? This is not correct, all right? This is correct, okay? So let's, it's a, it's a small grammar mistake, but you need to correct it, okay? Now, repeat, a husband who got married in the first day, repeat, guys, a husband who got married the first day he met, all right, he met, first day he married, married the first day he met, he met, he met Rosie, okay, very good job. Hey. Then you say, he lost his mind as amnesia. All right, what's wrong here, guys? What's what's wrong here? Uh, can you repeat it? What is wrong here? As, the word as. Like, okay, so what can we, what, what, how can we correct that? How can Maybe we correct it's hard this? Hard to suffer amnesia. All right. Hard to suffer. All right. He lost his mind because, repeat, guys, because of. Because, because of. of amnesia. All right, Rocio, you should be you should be writing down. Okay, you should be writing down this. Okay. Yes, I am writing. All right, very good, very good, guys. Thank you, thank you, Rocio. Okay. Good job. And you say he received, guys. You're talking in the past. What's wrong here? The reason the D at the end. Very good job. Okay. He re repeats, Rocio. He received. He received. He received. Okay. Very good job. Very good job. Okay. He received. 
All right. All right. Now, uh, next one. Uh, Rocio, pick someone who has not participated. William Vasquez. William Vasquez. Okay, let's go, William. All right, tell me what the paragraph was about. You got 30 seconds, brother. Three, two, one, go. All right, William. William is not here, right? Pick someone else. Quickly, Rocio. Gracias, gracias, Rivera. Gracias, Rivera. Let's go. Okay. Uh, then, uh, when Amy was looking for uh, her husband, the police um, found him uh, outside a motel uh, without um, any knowledge uh, of who he was. And after that, uh, the years uh, become different to, to that uh, new couple, to the new couple. And um, Shen. Um, good job, good job. Time's up. Yeah. Applause, guys. Good job. Very good job. Uh, Gracias, right. Now, hey, very good job. Uh, almost no mistake. The only mistake that you made is this. the years become different because uh, to the new couple. I have no idea what you what you want to say here. I just wanted to start the new beginning of them after that episode. Los, los años, los, all right, los años convierten diferente a la nueva pareja. What? Eso es lo que well, dice. Los may, años. Maybe their life, their lives become different after that incident to the new couple. All right, their lives, right? Their lives okay. be, become different after that episode incident or, or incident to the new couple. To the new, to the new. To the. To the, eso, eso no está correcto. No puedes decir to. Mm -hmm. After the or, lives become different or. after that incident. Okay, that's it. All right. And yeah, you can say for the couple, okay? All right, but not to the couple. Good job, let's for Gracie, guys. Beautiful job, all right? So let's move on, guys. Beautiful job, guys. Thank you very much, okay? You did a great, great job. All right, hey, uh, I, I'm glad that you understood the, the story. Let's just work on that, uh, the grammar part of it, okay? All right, guys, so we're gonna do a quick test right now, guys. You are going to do it alone this time, okay? So you have you have um you have a quick quiz guys okay all right uh i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you uh 10 to 15 minutes to finish it okay you're gonna do it alone guys okay so if you do not have access to the platform hey uh actually you know what we can't do it alone because guys hold on we can not only if everybody has access to the platform if not we can't mm -hmm. Who has not access to the platform, guys? Say me, teacher. Me, Francisco Cepeda. Me, hey, Douglas. Frank. Welcome, welcome, and Douglas. Okay, hey. all right. So, Hello, so, Navas. All right, very good. So we're going to do it in couples then, guys, because we, you guys, you know what, guys, do me a favor right now. Like the three people, guys, I'm just going to share a huge message right now because I've been reporting this. So I'm sorry, guys, it's not your fault. All right, do me a favor, guys. The, the three people who said that don't have access to the to the platform, guys. Uh, I, well, I got Francisco Cepeda right now. But the two yes. of them, I needed to send me a, a message on WhatsApp, my personal WhatsApp, right now, okay? I repeat, people without access to the platform, send me a message to my WhatsApp right now. And I wanted to ask you something. Did you report this already with, uh, with the tech support team? Yeah, I already did. I know Francisco did. Uh, the rest? In my case, this the particular same, same. day. You did it this today. So you've, you've had access before, but not today. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I needed to report it to the tech support team immediately. And also, um, I needed to send me a message on the WhatsApp group to me, right? Personally, got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, Carlos yes. Navas, the same, okay? Exactly. 
All right, all right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Right. So let's work in couples then. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Daisy. You are my couple. <laughs> I'm your couple. No, all it's right. Douglas. <laughs> Thank all you. All right, all right, all right. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. All right, Douglas. All right, let's go, Douglas. Right. What would you like me to do? What are you going to do, yes. guys? <laughs> the midterm in section two. Oh, I told you that I don't have access to the platform. Ah, okay. I'm going to share you my screen. All right. Thank you very much. Thank okay, you, Karina. You're very sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Douglas. I can see it now. Me. If you can hear the audio. Mm, no yet. Ah, okay. I, it's opening. It's opening. It's opening. Perfect. See? But it's not sharing my internet. Okay, okay, okay. It's charging. It's downloading. How do you say it's downloading? Down, downloading. Downloading. Download, down, down. Downloading. Right? Ah, downloading. Okay. Hey, hello, Barbara. Thank you for joining. How are you? Thank you very much. Uh, here trying to to, to start again. <laughs> we have to to listen in the audio and we have to answer the next questions. Okay. audio. How to expand the screen, but either in the sound. Okay. Frank. Okay. Hi, Yes. All right, let's go, guys. Carla sounds like a strong and independent woman. Yeah, she definitely is. Cool. Hey, we're going to lunch tomorrow afternoon. Do you want to come? Sure. I'd love to meet her. Great. My sister and I went to the Thai restaurant museum with her on Wednesday. What's she like? Well, her name's Carla, and I thought she was pretty shy and reserved at first. But she's not. Passages, third edition, level one. I realized you she wasn't shy quiz. at all. Just calm Part and cool. It just goes to show you a conversation what between they seem two like classmates, no Mike and Anna. Then check the correct answers. Really? Anna, so what did you think of the English final? I don't know, Mike. I thought it was pretty hard. Yeah, I thought so too. But I feel pretty good about it. Hey, do you know what happened to Kelly? She didn't show up for the exams. I don't know. But we were supposed to meet right after class to talk about our final project. I just talked to her last night and she seemed okay. I doubt she got sick so quickly. Well, I should have said something to Professor Ashton. I wonder if she noticed that Kelly wasn't there. Probably not. There are 55 people in our class. But Kelly never misses class. Do you think Professor Atkins will let her take a makeup exam? Yeah, she let me take a makeup exam once. I suspect she'll do the same for Kelly. I hope so. Let's call so Kelly now and see if she's okay. Level one. Unit two quiz. Part A.
All right, guys, I reported already that you don't have access to the platform, Carlos Navas. Yeah. Uh, who else Who else reported aside from Francisco? Because the other person... I did, but... Others. I did, but now I have access. Today oh, okay. morning, they wrote to me. Oh, okay, got gotcha, you, bro. Thank you very Teacher, much. This is the, 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 the right lesson that we have to discuss with, uh, with Christopher, uh, this one. No, guys. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Go back. Go yeah. back, guys. Go back. Okay. And so it's still on section two. <clears throat> uh, yes. Go back. Just go back. One. Okay. Uh... Number section two. Section two. Uh, yeah. Is it the midterm? Uh, let's see the mistakes and mysteries. <laughs> a bit <laughs> strange. The strange, but uh, we have to go back. Do we have to go back? Mm, no, no, okay, all right, hold on. Click on midterm exam. Oh. Okay. Yes, 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 okay. Actually. On listening. Yes, do the listening part. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure if you had to. Give me one second. Okay, Christopher, let's do it. Okay. Tell me if you if you can hear. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> can you hear? No, let me try to. Okay, David, uh, I'm not sure about the first one. That's why I was listening again, because it says Mike had plans to meet Kelly. Kelly. After class or at the class? After class. After class, because she is in dirt, isn't uh -huh. it? Okay. Go ahead if you want. Okay. Um, the second one, Anna. Uh, the answer is doesn't think Kelly got sick. I'm agree. I'm agree. I'm agree. I agree. I, I agree. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I agree is a verb. So that's why you say I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll go to the third one. Anna thinks Professor Atkins didn't know Kelly missed the exam. What is Atkins? What is the name? Yeah. I think that is, uh, yes. yeah, name. a last name. His name. Uh -huh. The professor's name, yeah. Uh -huh. um, Are you agree with that answer? Are you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree with that answer? Mm, the last one, didn't know Kelly missed the exam. Okay. B. Most, yeah. Most. Must be okay. Must be careful. Okay. The next. Next part. Yeah, this part. The the next part is uh, like a a section in the in the part part two maybe. Mm, yeah. Arabic codes deal with identify ignores and runs into. Okay, so mm -hmm. the first one, Kara. Mm. Ignores her problems. She thinks that other people will do something about them. Yeah. And the second buoy isn't sure okay. what's, what's wrong with his bike. When he identifies the problem, he'll fix it. Okay. Let me see. Number three. Mia's life always runs smoothly. It seems like she never. Hmm. Runs into 
Unexpected problems is yeah. front input. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the the for Marco is a great boss. I like the way he deals with problems deal. that come okay, up deal. come up with. Okay, deal. Yes, it says the instruction says type the verb that best completes each sentence. Use infinitive gerunds. No. All right, gerunds, guys, not gerunds, gerunds. Gerunds, okay. Mm -hmm. And the number one is Maria Boys. Mm -hmm. Maria Boys uh, getting by getting in other people's problem. Mm -hmm. To get to, well, David insists on making a big deal out of his birthdays every year. That's true. <laughs> Make it, yeah. <laughs> the other David. The other David. <laughs> He's making. I don't care about. I don't care for clubs. <laughs> no, okay. Aggravates, aggravates. Check, check the spelling of aggravates, guys, okay? Aggravates. Yes, give me one second. Okay. You just should choose the best word that best complete each sentence. It's just so sad at the coffee, so. I, I know just... for a fact that she is in town. I, I know for a fact she's in town. I just saw okay because it's so sad. Your plan landed two hours ago, so I'm why he has in garden. I'm, I'm, why has... I'm not sure why he hasn't gotten home yet. I'm not sure, not sure, porque no. I got a casa aún. I'm not sure. It sounded noisy when Vera called, so I suspect she's out shopping. I sound noisy when Vera called. I suspect. Um, suspect, right? Yeah, that should be the one. Suspect, okay. Junko say. She checked her email, so I... Be careful? Must be more careful. Or should be. Uh, should. Let's try. Should. Okay. For... You know, hate. Hates, All right, how are you doing, guys? We're good? You. Almost. Almost done? Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, this is... Next one. Number three. I, I didn't do well on the exam. I... I mustn't, I mustn't. I no debí haber ido. I mustn't. In negative. In negative, yes. Number four is my turn. That loud noise. Is is um, Mike. Mike. I, agree. I have been a three falling. Mm -hmm. uh, Instead of chatting online, I I could I could yo podría haber estado I should, maybe I should I should or I could both. Uh -huh. All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, guys, so uh, this is what we're going to do, okay? 
if you did not finish guys because i know you know it takes it takes a long time if you didn't finish you have to finish it um you have to finish it this weekend okay so finish it tomorrow or on saturday but you have to finish it alone okay but the only reason why okay. we we're doing it like this is because some people don't have access to the platform yet and then on monday i'm gonna help you with the answers okay got it okay Got it, man. All right, very good sure. job, very good job, guys. So let's move on, okay? All right, so everybody go to section 3.0. So let's move on to the following, to the next se session, all right? All right, very good, guys. So you should be here right now. Give me one second. Hey, guys, by the way, did anybody finish the, the midterm? Yeah. Okay, good job. Hey, that's good, man. That's good, okay? All right, so everybody else do it at home, okay? Good job, guys. So lesson three, guys, okay? Help me read the objective, Francisco Cepeda. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Uh, by the end of this lesson, participants will know how to identify and use relative and non-relative clauses. Okay, all right. Relative or non-relative clauses. Good job, guys. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, we've seen this in pre-advanced, pre guys. Do you remember what relative and not non-relative clauses are? Francisco? <laughs> uh, no, man. All right, you're I, very good. Right now. It's okay. All right, guys. Yeah, but we're going to see right now. Okay, don't worry. Let me just close this part right here. All right, guys. So uh, you can watch the video later, guys. But we have defining and non-defining relative, relative clauses, right? What are the two types of clauses that we have, guys? And defining, defining and non-defining relative -defining. clauses. Two. Defining, defining and non-defining relative clauses, okay? All right, help me read. Uh, let's see, guys. I always want everybody to participate, guys. So if I, if you don't participate, let me know, okay? Barbara Guevara. All right, Barbara. Okay. Okay, Barbara, tell me, what is a defining relative clause? A uh, defining relative clause defines or gives essential information about a noun. Okay, write it down in your notebook, guys. Okay, so a defining relative clause, guys, gives essential information about a noun, okay? So basically, guys, I'll, I'll give you a tip, guys, okay? I know that it sounds complicated. It's not, guys, right? And you're probably never going to have to understand what are, uh, a relative clause uh, is, except for when you do, you know, um, when you do the TOEIC or, or the TOEFL, right? Then you are gonna need it, but other than that, no. All right, guys, but uh, there is something that will make your life easier, okay? Do you know what an adjective is? What is an adjective, uh, Enrique Ramos? All the way from, from the stadium, what is it? Can you repeat it, please? What is an adjective? Mm -hmm. I really something to describe, right? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know that you know, Francisco. Don't worry. I want everybody to participate, though. So, okay. Jose Rodriguez, what is an adjective? I don't know, did you? No, okay, all right. All right. Douglas, what's an adjective? An adjective is something that describes a noun or a subject. Very good job. It's a okay. word that, that describes. Very good job, all right? So an adjective would be what? Give me an example of an adjective, uh, Victoria Hernandez. Tall. Uh-huh. Tall. All right, tall, all right. Another one. Give me another one, Fatima. Um, big. Big, okay. 
All right, beg. Not not big, guys. Repeat, beg. All right, it's a short tie, right? All right, big. What else? Uh, what else? Big uh, lugar. Exactly. Carlos Daines, what else? Um, cute. Cute, right? All right, cute. Okay, good job. All right, Carlos Daines? Cute. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Gracia Rivera, another one? Um, windy. Windy. Like okay. a windy day. Yeah. Very good job. All right, guys. So these are just for examples, okay? Now, do you remember? Do you remember what what adjectives are? Yes or not, guys? Yes. 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 All right. All right. All right. So those are adjectives, okay? They describe. Describe what? A noun. Describe the noun, okay? And what is a noun, guys? What is a noun? It could be a person, an object. Very good job. It could be a person. An object. All right, whatever, guys. Actually, whatever, whatever thing that you're talking about. Okay. Very good job. Very good job. So far, so good. So far, so good. So, far, so, good. All so, good. Right. so guys, so this is the tip that I want to share with you. Okay. All right. So defining relative clauses, guys, act as adjectives. They act as. Adjectives. They act as adjectives, guys, okay? Adjectives. Because right. they help the noun, okay? Right? They give essential information to the noun. So, uh, so that's why it's like you're talking about an adjective, okay? Help me read the first example, Arturo de Leon. Okay. Uh, the New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Okay, repeat, guys. New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. New Orleans is a city where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Okay, right now, guys, where do you see where do you see the defining clause here? Where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Very good job, guys. Okay. Where people, this is the defining clause. Applause for Francisco, guys. Good job, Francisco. Thank you very much, man. All right, so where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras, guys, okay? Now, guys, let me ask you something. If I only say New Orleans is a city, am I missing more information? Do you think that I'm, am I, uh, that I'm missing more information? Yes or not? Yes. 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 yes right? Okay, because it's like... New Orleans is a city. New Orleans is una ciudad. Okay. Now you need more information. You need essential information, right? Where people go to celebrate Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Okay. All right. Now second example. Uh, let's see. Carlos Navas. Help me read. Yes. The second example. Salvador is famous for food and music that trace their origins. To Africa. All right, open your mouth once again. Salvador is Salvador. famous for food and music that trace their origins back to Africa. Repeat the uh, now. Salvador is famous for food and music that trace their origins to Africa. Origins, repeat guys, origins. Origins, origins. Okay, origins. Good, job. good job. Origins, right? Good job. All right. Now, if I say Salvador is famous for food and music, okay, yeah, this explains, you know, this explains, like, this is okay, right? But yes. if you want to add essential information, guys, that, that trace their origins to Africa, okay? Why is it essential, guys? Because this is not optional. If you say a sentence like this, guys, this is not optional. If it is not optional, it is essential, right? All right, so far, so good? Yes. So far, so good. All right, very good, very good, very good, okay? Now, guys, do me a favor. Take notice, guys, and practice, right? Review the review the video because you're going to do this in the midterm, okay? And you're going to do this in the midterm and the final exam as well. Now, what I want you to notice, guys, is this, okay? You always, always, always have to use the upper case. Cuando hacen el examen la plataforma, guys, when you do the exam in the platform, you have to take care of capital letters, and you have to take care of peer, of uh, punctuation. What do you have to take care of? 
Capital letters and capital letters. letters. As, well as, as well as spelling, guys, okay? Now, very common mistake, guys. Guys, en el teclado hay comillas y hay otra cosa que no sé qué, cómo diablos se llama, okay? All right. So, esa otra cosa no, no la usen, guys. You have to make sure it's, it's uh, you're using quotation marks. How do you call them? Quotation marks. Quotation marks, okay? Quotation marks. All right. All right, so now non-defining uh, non-defining relative clauses. Um, Karina, help me read, Karina. A non-definitive relative clauses gives optional information about a noun. Notice the use of commas. Repeat, guys. A non-defining. Repeat, Karina. Um, no. non-defining. Non All right, it's not defining, guys. Defining, okay? Defining. A non-defining relative clause gives optional information about a noun. Notice the use of commas. Repeat. Notice the use of commas. Notice the use of commas. All right. Uh, help me read the first example, Fatima. So, which hosted in 1988 Summer Olympics is well known for its shopping. Very good job. Not Olympics, Olympics, okay? All right. Olympics. So, all right. This is not Seoul, guys. So, Seoul, okay? So, so, hosted so, the 1980 Summer so, Olympics is well known so, for its shopping, so, okay? So, yeah. Now, guys, this, all right, I want you to notice something, okay? Non-relative clauses, and everybody, you should be writing this down, okay? Non-relative clauses, I mean, uh, non-defining, guys, I'm sorry. Non-defining relative clauses, guys, they are, they are identified because of this, okay? Hold on. All right. The use of commas. The use of commas, guys. The use of commas. All right. Now, why why are they non-defining? Because if you get rid of this, guys, and you only say Seoul is well known for its shopping, do you think that that's that that is that explains? Uh, that, no, that, it doesn't make sense. No, it, of course it makes sense, guys. Yeah, you can say you can say this. You can say so. You can say so. is well known for its shopping. Exactly, right? It's well known for its shopping. For its shopping. And the sentence is okay, right? Entonces, yes. guys, ponerle algo en medio de esto solo es opcional, okay? Got it? Got it? Yeah. Got it. Right. Very good job. So, so, you can say so, which, uh, which is a hot uh, city. Is well known for its shopping, see? El significado, like, lo mismo quiere decir, guys. El significado todo quiere decir Seoul. Seoul, uh, Seoul, perdón, Seoul es muy, uh, muy conocido por sus, por sus una, compras. Es una ciudad caliente. Por sus compras, ok. Entonces, esto de, es una ciudad caliente, guys. Puedes quitarlo y lo mismo quiere decir. Toda la oración se trata de que Seoul es, buen, es muy bien conocido por su shopping. You can say, Seoul is, uh, which is, which is what, guys? Which is well known. Or you can say Seoul, which uh, is a nice city, is well known for its shopping. What else, guys? Let's use more. Seoul, Seoul what? Which, is which a, has a friendly people. Which has friendly people. Okay, see? Got it, guys? Got it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Very good job, guys. Okay? All right. So it's just optional information. Now you can use it at the end as well. Take a look at the second example. Repeat, guys. There are many temples and shrines in Kyoto. Kyoto. There are many temples and shrines in Kyoto. Now, the, it used to be the capital. Of now, what is what is the main information of this sentence? The information principal of this sentence is the capital. There are many temples in the city. Exactly, guys. Okay, so this is optional. You can say there are many temples and shrines in Kyoto or Kyoto, I'm sorry, which uh, which used to be the capital of Japan, or you can say, which what, guys? Which are pretty nice, okay? Pretty nice, okay? Puedes decir eso si quieres. Got it? Yes, it's option. Necesitas esa información, si o no? No. No, guys, okay. It's an option, So far, so good? 
So far, so sure. good. Sure. So All right, guys. So we're going to leave the class until here. Do my favor. Please, please, please finish the midterm in your houses, and I'm going to help you on Monday. Monday, okay? Okay. Okay. All okay. right, guys. Hey, guys. Thank you very much for coming. Guys, do me a favor. If you're going to miss class, guys, uh, please let me know beforehand. <laughs> Uh, your attendance, guys, your attendance is very important. Estos programas, guys, like, uh, creo que, like, your company offers them for free, right? Like most, guys, right? Yes. All right. So, guys, uh, it is very important, guys, for the program to continue, to be honest with you, the, um, uh, that you come every day, okay? Que se conecten todos los días es lo que mantiene todo eso. Got it? So please, guys, uh, just get connected. Sincero, no puedo. Yo entiendo. Solo envíame un mensajito ahí. Hey, coach, me dice que no voy a poder ir por esto y eso. No me digas por motivos personales, right? Eso lo vas a ver a la novia, right? So uh, let me know, guys. Let me know. Be honest, okay? Yo, yo, yo sé, yo sé, yo sé técnicas de logística también, guys, right? So just All right, hey guys. Love you all. Take care, guys. Right? I'll see you on Monday. Hey, you too, man. Thank you very much. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.